What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now there was a recent rumor that uh, the AMD's Ryzen Threadripper CPU, the 16 core CPU will be priced at $850. Now we know some of the specifications of this CPU like for example it has 64 PCIe lanes which is more than what you will find on Intel's LGA2066 socket. Also there was another rumor that said that it's stock locked at 4.1 GHz. Now this CPU is actually so cheap that kind of makes you nervous it's for half the price of intel's 16 core cpu which is expected to be for 1700 dollars i mean let's ignore the i9 18 core cpu because this cpu will actually release in 2018 now these cpus won't be actually good for gaming because yeah the price is really scary it's uh, it's not even close from the 10 cores intel cpu which, uh, which is priced at 1000 dollars and it makes you feel like this cpu CPU is made of two Ryzen CPUs and just kind of fused together to make one CPU that's why it has a high TDPs and uh, obviously it will not be as good as Intel actually in both workstation purposes and gaming purposes I mean we're talking for double the price but I don't think we'll get double the performance in the Intel CPU I mean of course Intel CPUs are actually have significantly better IPC than AMD's but that doesn't mean that it will have double the performance I guess the the Ryzen Threadripper CPU will be equal to the 14 cores Intel CPU which is for 14 to 1500 dollars and as I said these CPUs are not meant for gaming I feel like they will not deliver I mean don't expect to have a performance similar to i7 7700k just because you're paying $850 on a CPU it doesn't make sense you know it's not about the amount of cores actually so what I hope for is to have a performance close from the R7 1700 or even better and maybe AMD will impress us and actually this CPU will be as good as the 16 cores 32 threaded Intel CPU which is priced at crazy $1700 but I can find a lot of gamers who are willing to get a really high end PC going for an Intel CPU just because this AMD CPU doesn't deliver in gaming. I guess a lot of gamers don't need that much of cores because they don't do a lot of editing and rendering and these type of things and yeah but still this CPU will be a great bang for buck but single core performance matters I mean that's what made an i3 6100 beat an AMD FX8320 which is an 8 core CPU but as I said it's not for gaming this is kind of meant for editing purposes and it will have a great performance in terms of editing and things close to that I mean as I said it will be close to a $1400 or $1500 Intel CPU which is a 14 cores one so that might be beneficial in some multi threaded applications I guess you know more than me uh, don't forget to subscribe if you found that video helpful I mean that would mean a lot to me actually and uh, press that like button and share that video with your friends or whoever you want to share it with and keep in mind this is just a rumor so it can be 100% true and it may be a subject to change and uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, thanks for watching leave your comments down and uh, I'll see you in the next video please subscribe